Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, Your Career, Your Life. Today, I am back with my friend's Capgemini interview experience, which took up to duration of 20 minutes and coming to the difficulty level, it is moderate. And let's move to the technical session. Yes, coming to technical session, the number of questions asked are 6 and it took up to duration of 15 to 20 minutes. And coming to the first question, what is a tree? Tree data structure is a nonlinear data structure because it does not store in a sequential manner. It is a hierarchical structure as elements in a tree are arranged in multiple levels. In the tree data structure, the topmost node is known as root node. Each node contains some data and the data can be of any type. Uh, let's move to the next slide to get further information about the tree. Yes. We have to be in master uh, with tree terminology to deal with tree data structure easily. So there are up to 12 to 13 terminologies we have to learn and I will be giving you a detailed explanation of each and every terminology required for a tree data structure in coming slides. Okay, let's move to the next one. First one is root node. The first node from where the tree originates is called as root node. Okay. Let us see in the example here, from the node A, the whole tree originates. So A is known as a root node. Okay, let's move to the next one. Edge, the connecting link between any two nodes is called as an edge. Let us see here, the connecting link between A and B is this line. So this line is known as an edge. Okay, and connecting link between A and C is this line. So this is known as an edge. Okay. The link between two nodes is known as an edge simply. Okay. Coming to C and G, this is an edge. This is known as an edge. The line, the link connecting C and G is known as an edge. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Parent node. The node which has one or more children is called as a parent node. Okay. Simple. This is a very simple definition. You can learn. And coming to the example here. A is known as parent node because it has two, two children B and C. Okay. B is known as parent because it has three children B, E, F. C is known as parent because it has two children G, H. E is known as parent because it has two children I, J. Okay. And also G is known as parent because it has one children K. And F is not a parent because it doesn't have any children. Okay. Are you getting my point? Okay, let's move to the next slide. Child node. All the nodes except the root node are called as child nodes. Okay, see here, A is a root node. So, except that A, all the nodes are known as child nodes. Okay, let us see an example. A has two children, B, C. So, B and C are called as child nodes. And coming to D, E, F, they are children of B. So, D, E, F are also called as child nodes. And coming to G, H, it has a parent C. So, G and H are also called as child nodes. Coming to I and J, it has a child node. I mean, it has a parent node E. So, I and J are called as child nodes. And coming to K, it is also a child node because it has a parent G. Okay. Let's move to the next slide. Siblings. Nodes which belong to same parent are called as siblings. Okay. Let's see here in the example. B and C are siblings because it have a same parent A. Okay. And also D, E and F are siblings because it has a same parent. I mean common parent B. Okay. And G and H are also a siblings because it have a common parent C. Are you getting my point? Okay, we cannot call K and H are si as siblings because the parents of K and H, I mean respective nodes are different. Okay, and also I and J are siblings because they have common parent called E. Okay, I think you understand this concept and let's move to the next slide that is degree. Degree is simply the number of children of the node. Okay, see here. 
directly and coming to a it has degree 2 because it has to only two children okay and coming to b the degree is 3 because it have three children d e f three children so the degree of b is 3 and coming to degree of c 2 it is 2 because it have two children g and h okay are you getting my point and also let us see another example too here the degree of e is 2 because it have two children i and j okay see this uh, definition also degree of a node is the total number of children of that node okay see here coming to c it has only two children g and h so the degree is 2 and the second line is degree of a tree is the highest degree of a node among all the nodes in the tree okay yes let's move to the next one internal nodes okay the node which has at least one child is called as an internal node okay here a is also an internal node because it has two children okay a is a internal node as well as a root node okay and b is also an internal node because it have three children and c is also an internal node because it have two children and e and g are also an internal nodes because it have children okay i mean at least one children okay and d and f and h these three nodes are not internal nodes are you getting my point okay let's move to the next slide leaf nodes okay this is very simple the node which does not have any child are called as leaf nodes okay see here coming to a it have two children so it is not a leaf node coming to b it have three children so it is not a leaf node coming to c it have two children so it is not a leaf node coming to d it doesn't have any children so d is a leaf node okay coming to e it have two children so it is not a leaf node coming to f it doesn't have any children so it is a leaf node okay and coming to i and j it doesn't have any children so i and j also a leaf nodes coming to g it have one children so it is not a leaf node coming to h it is a leaf node because it doesn't contain any children okay coming to k it doesn't contain any children so k is also a leaf node okay in this tree the leaf nodes are d i j f k h okay yes let's move to the next one yes the ninth one is level in a tree each step from the top to bottom is called as a level of the tree okay the level count starts with 0 and increments by 1 at each level or each step. Okay guys, see here. At A, the level is 0. Okay. And coming to next step, the level is 1. Then coming to the next step, the level is 2. And coming to the final step, the level is 3. Okay. Yes, let's move to the next slide. Height. Total number of edges that lies on the longest path from any leaf node to particular node is called as height of that node okay again i am reading that let's see the total number of edges that lies on the longest path from leaf node to a particular node is called as height of that node okay let us see here and we have to find the height of the b okay guys from b to d it has only one edge and b to f it has only one edge b to e it has one edge and e to i second edge b to e one edge and e to j second edge okay we have to choose only longest path okay the longest path is b to e e to j b to e e to j okay b, b to e e to i and b to e e to j okay so that the height is 2 okay guys are you understanding so let us see here coming to c here c to g one edge g to k second edge so uh, it is here this is 2 and c to h it is 1 so the longest path is 2 so we can say that the height of the c is 2 okay and yes it's okay let's move to the next one depth total number of edges from root node to a particular node is called as depth of that node okay again i am reading this uh, listen carefully okay total number of edges 
from root node to a particular node is called depth of that node see here uh, we have to find depth of b so that number of edges from root node to specific this node okay uh, from a to b it has only one node i mean one edge so the depth is one okay let us consider depth of d here from the root node to this node d it has two edges in between so that we can say the depth of the d is 2 and coming to h here from a to h it has two edges in between so the depth is 2 okay are you getting my point and coming to k the depth of the k is 3 because it have three edges in between root node and this node okay yes let's move to the next slide subtree every child node forms a subtree on its parents node yes this is very simple we can easily learn it because see here for a the left part is known as left subtree and right part is known as right subtree okay and coming to b uh, the left part is known as left subtree right part is known as right subtree okay the same like that will happen and yes we have to discuss about ddl commands in sql okay ddl commands are mainly used to manipulate the database okay yes the first one is create second one is drop third one is truncate and fourth one is alter okay guys yes see here create it is used to create a new table in the database syntax create table table name column i mean column name along with the data type okay and example create table employee name worker email worker of 100 and dob of date uh, or else let us try here okay guys i think is it it will be it is visible see here databases show databases yeah and now we will create a database see here create database and as your channel name is your career your life yc yl okay we have created a database known as yc yl okay yes database is created okay let us see again this command yes our database yc yl is added into this directory okay okay now let us create the table inside the directory okay cr create table table name we must give the table name along with the database name so yc yl dot the table name uh, we will give is employee let us say M -E -M -P -L -O -Y -E -E, employee brackets uh, first we have to spec uh, specify name okay uh, let us say that name where care sorry uh, written the spelling wrong where care of 20 okay name next uh, we will take uh, another column that is id okay id int of uh, 10 okay means yes completed enter we have created a table named employee okay yes uh, select star from emp lo by ee yc yl dot employee okay see here empty set because uh, there is nothing in our table it has shown empty set okay uh, yes we have seen how to create a table in the database and let's move to the next one drop uh, okay first of all before dropping or truncating i mean insert data into the table insert into table name yc yl dot emplo value of yes 
what are the yeah, what we are should enter names G M M Hemant comma his ID one okay yes it is entered and also yes it will be enough okay select star from yc file dot emplo y okay see here in a table employee uh, the data we entered is name and id the first in the first row we dot hey month and id is one okay now we will do something truncate uh, actually we have discussed about create and then we will discuss about uh, truncate and then drop and then alter okay yes first of all we will do truncate t r u n truncate table y c y l dot e m p l o y e e first of all i i want to explain you about truncate okay truncate means it is used to delete all the rows from the table and free the space containing the table okay and the syntax is this and this is example and we will also see here that means all the data which is present in the table will get deleted okay but table will not get deleted only the data will be deleted here yes see here uh, see here query okay zero rows affected that means uh, all the data which is present in the table will got erased see here we will get zero rows see here empty set we got empty set that means there is nothing in the table okay we will do one thing and also insert the same data again okay okay now we will try to drop okay let us see here uh, we will discuss about drop okay mainly it is used to delete both the structure and record store in the table okay that means if we uh, if we i uh, mean if we write a drop command on the table the whole structure i mean the the table will get deleted along with the data stored in the table okay let us see here see here i will write drop table table name yc yl uh, first of all i will show what uh, data is present in table name see here the data means uh, the one row is present in the table name directly we will try to drop table yc yl dot emp i mean sorry sorry emp l o y e e okay see here okay if you try to retrieve the data from the table it will show an error okay see here as we have applied drop command see here ycyl dot employee i mean in the database ycyl the table employee is doesn't exist okay see here i think you got an idea about drop okay yes let's move to the next one that is alter see here alter table statement is used to add delete or modify columns in the existing table okay let us see an example here without wasting any time uh, we will create another table okay create table student okay create table student uh, we will write some the name comma worker of 20 comma worker okay and phone number i think m o b i l e mobile int of 10 okay yes and sorry sorry i have have haven't mentioned the name of the database y c y l dot okay yes the table will be created student table will be created here okay and we will insert the data uh, i mean here see here i want to change the data type of mobile into begin so we will use the command known as alter okay see here alter table just a minute uh, okay alter table table name here table name is ycyl dot and ycyl dot student student modify sorry modify name comma 
square care. See, like that, we have to mention mobile comma mobile uh, mobile space big int of ten. Okay, that means the data type of the column will get modified by using the alter command. See here. Okay. Uh, let us try to insert the data here. I mean, to get a best idea. Okay. Oh, insert yes. Ycyl dot. The table name is student. No. Student. Okay. Values of. Uh, what are the columns which are given here? Name. Sir, let us let it be name. Hey month. And we will change the mobile number. Nine six three string and zero. Okay. I have given a random number, guys. Yes. Let us select data which is present in the table. Slash name is student, no student. Yes. See here. Okay, guys. I think you got a better idea about DDL commands because I have written a script here. Okay. The third question which is asked is: Let us consider a table student. Write a query to find the names of the students that begin with yes, and the answer is select star from student where name like yes percentage. Okay, yes means the first letter must be yes, and it doesn't care about the remaining uh, letters of that name. Okay, I mean so let us see this example here. I think it is visible. First of all, uh, let us select select or else is. Yes, I have already created a table and inserted the data in the table. See here. Here we have the names are Sai Krishna, Jagdish, Sudhir, uh, Punigant, Deepak, and Dol Sai Kiran. Okay. And here we have to, uh, I mean, we have to select the names which starts with yes. Uh, okay. The output should be Sai Krishna and Sudhir. Okay, guys. Let us see here. Select star from Y. See yes yes. Where name like percent yes percentage mean okay yes percentage okay yes. See here the output is Sai Krishna and Sudhir okay. Coming to the next slide the fourth question is auto increment in SQL auto increment allows a unique number. To be generated automatically when a new record is inserted into the table. Here we are considering the uh, table name as persons, which have four columns: person ID, first name, last name, and age. Okay. And auto increment will be applied on person ID, which is a primary key. Okay. Let's move to the syntax. See here, this is the syntax which I have to write. And to insert a new record into the persons table, we will not have to specify a value. For the person ID column, that means we will keep a null. Okay, a unique value will be added automatically. Let us see here. First of all, let us create a table. Create table ycyl dot persons. ID is ID and its type is integer. Here we have placing the auto increment and also it is a primary key. We have mentioned here. See here. When coming to f name, it is varchar. L name varchar. And coming to yes, it is integer. Okay. Simply we have created a table. Along with auto increment, okay. Uh, yes, the table is created, and now we will insert the data into the table. Okay. See here, insert into ycyl dot persons values of. We need not to specify any value here, that in the place of ID. So we will specify null, and then uh, first name is Agdis, last name is Gurte, and age is twenty three. Enter. Okay, one row is affected. See here. Now we will try to select the data. Select star from ycyl dot. Uh, the name is I mean table name is persons. See here. We got ID as one for Jagdish, but we haven't mentioned uh, here one. Okay, that is the best use of auto increment. And again, we will see another example. See here. Uh, we will change the name. Uh, 
we will say uh, we will change the name to Vinny and then uh, we will change the name I mean uh, what is last name K U N C H A M K U N C H A M and the age is 89 okay here we have uh, mentioned the first name is Vinny and last name is Kunchem and coming to age it is 89 okay and also the ID we, we haven't mentioned any ID here we have mentioned only null here okay enter see here one row got affected and also we will select the data see here the second one is I mean the ID is automatically incremented this is the main use of auto increment okay guys I think you have got a, a good idea on auto increment let's move to the next one see here explain the concept of infinite recursion infinite recursion is a situation at which the function never stops calling itself okay this condition I mean this situation is known as infinite recursions and also there is a small concept known as halting condition which comes in infinite recursion the halting condition means a condition at which the function stops calling itself is called a halting condition okay uh, just have an idea about this concept it would be better coming to the next question that is write a program to check whether the given number is leap year or not before directly getting into the program first of all let us know about leap year okay leap years are years where an extra day is added to end of the shortest month february okay it comes exactly uh, four years ahead okay first of all let us read here what i have written here a leap year is a year that is exactly divisible by four and not divisible by centuries that means hundreds the century year is a leap year only if it is perfectly divisible by 400 okay first of all let us write a program here see here there are only two conditions to check whether the uh, year is leap year or not first condition is it should be divisible by 4 and not divisible by 100 okay then it is a leap year and coming to the second condition the year must be perfectly divisible by 400 then it is a leap year okay there are only two conditions we can write a code here okay first of all year is equal to int of input of that means we are taking input from the user okay guys yes now we will write the code if the year is divisible by 4 and not divisible by 100 year what 100 equal to equal to 0 print yes the given year is year oh, sorry 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 y year comma is a leap year ok guys and L if year mod 400 equal to equal to 0 print simply we will copy paste here ok when the year is directly divisible by 400 it is definitely a leap year ok this is second condition and finally else print is not a leap year is not a leap year okay guys control s i'm saving it okay python practice lp dot pi we will save it as lp dot pi and f5 we will get the output here yes first of all let us give an year 2000 it is a leap year okay and also let us give another year uh, 1997 it is not a leap year okay the program is running successfully yes let's move to the next slide hr questions and coming to the hr questions already we have made a video where uh, we have mainly focused on 16 hr interview questions uh, where interviewers mostly ask from uh, that questions only 
and coming to this interview experience he had said that uh, all the questions asked in hr interview are from those 16 questions only that's why i haven't mentioned any of the questions here and the link will be in the description please watch that video too okay thank you guys please subscribe our channel